If you are watching this video right now, know that it's not by chance. How to learn to let go and stop worrying about someone who may not be good for you or perhaps isn't bringing the peace you need. Life has a way of placing people and experiences before us, sometimes for growth and other times for us to let go, even when it's painful. If you're here, you might be struggling with letting go of someone in your life, a relationship that's causing more anxiety than joy. Take a deep breath, and as you listen, trust that you have the strength within you to let go of what no longer serves you. Type, I'm ready to let go, in the comments to begin this journey of release. Section 1 why letting go feels impossible letting go is hard almost like pulling apart something that's become a part of you when you've invested time energy and emotion into someone it's natural to feel as though you're losing part of yourself by walking away however clinging to someone who isn't healthy for you can trap you in a cycle of pain and longing Breaking free from this cycle allows you to make room for true happiness and peace. Comment, I deserve peace, to affirm your journey toward freedom. Section 2, Recognizing when it's time to move on. Sometimes, we hold on to people because we see their potential, not necessarily the reality. If you've noticed that the person in your life consistently makes you feel less than or constantly drains your energy, it's time to ask if this is what you want. A healthy relationship should lift you up, not weigh you down. Type, I see the truth if you're ready to recognize what's right for you. Section 3 the power of acceptance. Acceptance is the first step in truly letting go. Accept that the relationship in its current state is not fulfilling your needs. By accepting reality, you're giving yourself permission to heal and rebuild. This can be difficult, but remember, the longer you avoid it, the longer you'll feel trapped. Comment, I accept to begin letting go and welcoming healing. Section 4, Why We Tend to Hold On Psychologically, we often cling to what we know because it feels safer than the unknown. Letting go can feel terrifying because it means facing a future without this person. But letting go also opens up the possibility of peace and growth. It allows us to heal in ways that wouldn't be possible while holding on to something broken. Type, I am ready for new possibilities if you're open to what lies ahead. Section 5, Reclaiming Your Own Power When we worry excessively about someone else, we give away our personal power. By letting go, you are reclaiming control over your own life. You're taking back the energy you invested in them and redirecting it toward your own growth, happiness, and future. Comment, I reclaim my power if you're ready to focus on yourself. Section 6 Embracing the freedom of self-love. When you prioritize self-love, the need to hold on to unhealthy connections fades. Self-love means respecting yourself enough to know when a relationship is not serving you. Embrace this new chapter of focusing on your well-being, growth, and happiness. Type, I choose self-love, to commit to putting yourself first. Shocking Rehook, the longer you hold on to someone who isn't right for you, the more you risk missing out on someone 
who is. Section 7, how to start letting go. Begin by acknowledging your emotions. Feel them, but don't let them control you. Journaling, talking to someone you trust, or simply taking some quiet time can help release some of that emotional weight. Every step, no matter how small, is progress in the right direction. Comment, I am making progress, if you're ready to start releasing your emotions. Section 8, Forgiveness is Key. Forgiving doesn't mean you excuse their behavior, it simply means you're letting go of the resentment. Holding on to anger only hurts you in the end. Forgiveness frees you from emotional chains and allows you to move forward with a lighter heart. Type, I choose forgiveness to let go of resentment and embrace freedom. Section 9, Replacing Attachment with Mindfulness. Whenever you feel yourself spiraling back into thoughts of this person, take a moment to ground yourself. Mindfulness, simply being present, can be a powerful tool to detach from unhopeful thoughts and return your focus to the present moment. Comment, I am present, to embrace mindfulness as part of your healing. Section 10, visualize your future without the weight. Think of how freeing it would feel to live without this constant worry or emotional drain. Visualize your future where you're surrounded by supportive, loving relationships that nourish your soul. This mental exercise can be a powerful way to begin letting go, making room for something better. Type, I see my future if you're ready to imagine a life full of joy and love. Section 11, Seek Support If You Need It. You don't have to go through this alone. Talking to friends, family, or even a professional can help guide you through the process. Letting go is difficult, and sometimes a supportive hand can make all the difference. Comment, I am supported if you believe in the power of a strong support system. Section 12, Commit to Moving Forward. Every day, take one small action that reinforces your commitment to letting go. This could be as simple as focusing on self-care or doing something that makes you happy. Every small step builds momentum toward the life you deserve. Type, I am committed to solidify your intention to let go and move forward. Section 13, Breaking Patterns and Finding New Focus. Often, we repeat patterns of attachment without realizing it. Take some time to reflect on past relationships or situations where you may have held on too tightly. Identifying these patterns is the first step in breaking them. Once you can see the pattern, you'll be more equipped to consciously choose healthier ways to connect. Type, I break the cycle, if you're ready to free yourself from past patterns. Section 14, Rebuilding Self-Worth. Holding on to someone who doesn't appreciate you can damage your self-worth. Rebuild it by practicing self-compassion and surrounding yourself with people who uplift and value you. Remind yourself daily that you are worthy of love, respect, and happiness. Each step you take in letting go is a testament to your strength and self-worth. Comment, I am worthy, to affirm your self-value and commitment to your happiness. Section 15, Embracing New Opportunities. As you let go, you create space for new opportunities to enter your life. 
Letting go of someone or something that no longer serves you may feel like a loss initially, but it's also a gain. New friendships, experiences, and connections await you on the other side of letting go. Allow yourself to embrace these opportunities with an open heart. Type, I am open, if you're ready to welcome new possibilities into your life. Rehook, remember, staying attached to someone who doesn't value you is like keeping a closed door between you and happiness. Section 16, Developing Resilience for the Future. Building resilience is essential for letting go and moving forward. Resilience doesn't mean never feeling pain, it means learning how to bounce back stronger. Each experience of letting go strengthens your ability to face future challenges with courage and grace. Comment. I am resilient, if you're committed to growing stronger through each experience. Section 17. Finding Peace in Solitude Spending time alone can be incredibly healing when letting go. Solitude allows you to reconnect with yourself without external influences. Embrace this time to rediscover your passions, values, and goals. Solitude can help you remember that peace and happiness ultimately come from within, not from others. Type, I find peace within, if you're ready to embrace the healing power of solitude. Section 18, The Beauty of a Fresh Start With every end comes a new beginning. Letting go can feel like closing a chapter, but it's also the start of a new one. Allow yourself to feel excited about the possibilities ahead. Embrace this fresh start as an opportunity to become the best version of yourself. Comment, New Beginnings, if you're ready to welcome the next chapter of your life. Final Hook, Don't let a single chapter define your whole story, turn the page and write the life you deserve. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to MK Psychology Corner for more insights and guidance on navigating life's emotional journeys. Type, I am free, if you're ready to fully let go and embrace peace and happiness.